Hey guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Today I'm going, we're going thrifting and we're going to a thrift store or an up shop, how they call them here in Australia and we're going to one that is in Brunswick, Melbourne. It's very, I mean, I think it's one of my favorite thrift stores to go. I don't know if it's because it was the first up shop that I went to when I first came to Australia, but yeah, it has a very special place in my heart. Actually, these pants that I'm wearing are from there. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, you can see them. So, yeah, I wear them. I wear them a lot, actually. Probably more than I should, but I love them. So, today we're going there. I have a small list of what I want to find. I'm going to put it in here. Or here. Yeah, here. So, on top of my list, I always have a trench coat. I've been meaning to find a trench coat for I don't know how long and I never find it like I see some trench coats in the thrift stores that I go but they're like not the color that I'm looking for not my size yeah I haven't been yeah I haven't found it yet so maybe today let's cross fingers maybe we get lucky also a half zip sweater so I think it's very versatile, you can wear it like just on top of your shoulders, if it gets a bit chilly, just put it on and I think it would be a very nice addition to my wardrobe for this autumn winter. A statement color blouse, statement color blouse or blouse, yeah, statement color blouse. I have already a few but they're colored. I would like a, just a plain white one but with a nice with a nice color that I could wear on top of like my sweaters or just like my jumpers. I would love to find some tailor pants. The ones that I have are all very on the dark side of colors. <laughs> on the dark side of colors. So they're black and grey, a navy, so I really would like to find some light ones. So maybe a beige or kind of like a brownish, like a light brown, it will be perfect. And to finish, I would love to find a kilt, a quilt, kilt, it's quilt I think. I would have to look that up. A nice quilt or a very nice vintage blanket. I really want to attempt with you guys a coat that I've been saving. I don't know how long I've been saving for that, for that kind of coat. I've been saving on my Instagram board and I would love to attempt this. And also always I like to see the pattern, the vintage patterns to add to my collection. Let's see if I found like a cute one to add to it. Enough of talking, let's grab my bag. Hey guys, safety first. It's a beautiful day today in Melbourne, it's really sunny, it's 18 degrees, so we can bike to the thrift store and come with me. So I just found this rack with $9 suit blazers and I would love to find a black one. This is the darkest one that I found. So it would be like something like the one that I'm wearing. This was that old suit jacket. So maybe something like this could be nice. Yes, I always wear the oversized ones. So I'm going to look at these racks here now. And the other side, I think there are like four racks and see if I find something interesting. like 
this one. This one's nice. These and this like the cutest old bike. I wish I had space to store it. This is the bedding section. I don't know if you hear me because music is a bit loud. But yeah, we have some curtains, some duvets, some seats. I've been looking a bit and I really like this blue one because let's see if I find it. Hello, cute butterfly. I mean, yeah, it's really cute, but I'm thinking if I will use it or not. But this cute handicraft, don't know the year, but look at these. Oh my gosh, love this one. With the crochet, and look at all these. You have all the patterns for these, so I'm definitely going to get this. I also found this one here. I mean, I don't need, but I can always learn and I really want to try to do a vest. I mean, so cute. So yeah, I think I'm getting this one too. love the uh, color coordinated rack i mean it's the best so well, these are the color long sleeve shirts <laughs> I just found this cute princess highway dress. It's not my style, but how cute is this color? Super cute. This Calvin Klein dress also. It's nine dollars. Not my size. I mean, it's huge. Not my style, but love the color. It's really cute color. I don't know why I'm looking for the dresses just to show you guys I think because I don't really wear much dresses only like long ones in summer but no winter is coming this blazer extra large similar to the one I'm wearing but this one it's not exactly black but it's like a dark gray but i love the fitting i mean this is the blazers that i wear like every single day mirror nerves i clean up <laughs> yeah i really like it i think it's pretty nice and it can go with black also Yay! Have a look at the purses. This one is nice. Let's see if it works. Yay! Yeah, but it's missing the strap. 
Ora piri. I love this. So cute. But yeah, it's. I don't think this will go out, but it's really. Good. I told you guys, this is a trench coat that I'm looking for. Yeah, but this one has been much loved. So yeah, I don't know. I have this black zip sweater. It's really pre-loved, but um, I think that I can fix it. It's really nice. It's from the Cuba. And I really like it and price is very good. It's really cozy, it's nice, it's not itchy. So I think this could be an option too. What do we think of this one here? It's like a cross jumper. It's really cute. Have to fix fix this. But it's nice. I'm in the homework area now and I mean I love this my grandma has this at home and every time I see any cup or plate like this I mean it reminds me of her and I love it I'm tempted to buy them but I don't drink like I only drink lattes or matchas and this one is too small I have these things for little suitcases. I mean, isn't this the most adorable one? It's so cute. Hey, I think I was pretty successful. I mean, I didn't find what I had in my list, but I mean, it's always good. Look at this. Ah. <laughs> so yeah, I've got my purchases here. I'm very happy. I'm very happy with the blazer actually because I'm wearing this that one like all the time and I really need to change it and wear another one too so yeah thank you for joining me in this thrift um, treasure hunt I will say it's always a treasure hunt in the thrift stores so yeah thank you I'm gonna show you what I ended up buying at the op shop. This is a thrift haul. So in the video I'm showing you some vintage patterns that I bought. This one, I mean you have like different crafts to do. I was really drawn into the part of the granny squares. Let me see if I... So this is the part of the crochet, you see? And you have the pattern for this vest that I think I'm going to attempt. I'm really into it right now. And also it has the pattern for different crochet motifs. So you have the octagon, the medallion, the flower with petals, the snowflake. Yeah, I think it will be nice to do different kind of of crafts so this one was one dollar and the other one that I bought is this one it's actually not a crochet it's knitting so I would like I would I would have to um, learn how to knit but I mean it always has been in my to-do list so maybe now it's the time this one has very cute different patterns I really like the shape of this one, this one here, and also I like the shape of one that had squares, let me show you this here, yeah this one, but without the squares I think, like a plain, imagine like a plain beige one, but this shape, I think it would look really nice, I think it will be good. So now the clothing, the clothes that I bought. First of all, I bought this uh, sweater jumper I showed you in the video when I got it. It has a half zip, so it was on my list. This one is from the Cuba. It was really pre-loved, 
I call the op shop, but this one was really pre-loved, so I had to use my um, jumper shaver or lint remover, I don't know how you call it. So yeah, I had to do a little bit of work in that so that I got all the lints out. But now I think it's perfect. I will style it with, for example, some cowboy boots, uh, nice leather pants, and one of my crochet bags. I think it looks really nice. To give more a casual look, I will style it with some uh, tan pants, like casual pants, my Converse, and also a crochet bag. That's like to go out with friends or to go to the movies. I think it's the perfect outfit. If I would like to style it up a bit, this jumper, I will style it with just some tailored pants, like a grey ones. Um, my docks and a nice little bag. I think it looks cute. The half zip jumper sweater was $8. I also bought this men's shirt. I'm always drawn to the men's section because I like this oversized casual style. So I think in the men's section I always, I always find really good really good items. In the video I showed you two shirts but I finally ended up getting this one. The other one had like the color very stained and I didn't know if it was like going to come out. So I bought this one here. It's like a nice, it's not a gingham but I think it's very nice pattern. It also has like the flowers inside and I think it's very nice. This shirt was six dollars and this shirt I will um, I will mix it or I will like style it with just wearing it open on top of a white t-shirt like the one that I'm wearing with some relaxed um, pants this one have like buttons on the side they're very nice I have them for I have have them for ages um, I will I would wear my Converse, just a nice little crochet bag, checkered bag, and if it gets a bit cold, I will put on my leather jacket. I thought it also looked cute with also over a white t-shirt, but just like if it's a bit warmer, just wear like a little black skirt and a little bag and also the... Uy, ¿cómo se dice suecos? Clocks. Oh, it's too early in the morning, you know. <laughs> so I will style it with my clocks. I like to wear socks with clocks because here in Melbourne, like the weather is all over the place. So even when you have like a sunny day, like a sunny day like today, maybe it gets a bit cold. So I prefer wearing my socks always. <laughs> If I would like to style up this shirt, I will just wear it with some nice uh, suit black pants. I will put on top a crochet cardigan, I think it looks really nice, and some ballerina, ballerina flats. Lastly, the blazer. I am so so happy with this blazer. I mean, I couldn't believe it when I found it. It's in such good um, condition. It hasn't got like any, I don't know how you say, like scratches or, I mean, it's perfect. It's 100% wool, so it's great for Melbourne's weather. It's a, I can wear like something underneath, I can put like my Uniqlo puffer jacket underneath and wear these on top. I think it's great. It was $20, so I don't know if that's... I think it's a very good price. Maybe some of you find it a bit pricey <clears throat> or super cheap, I don't know. But think about it, like if I had to buy this in the store, how much? much would it be? I mean $20 I think it's the best. This blazer I've paired 
with um, just some tailored black pants, a uh, vest that I've got that um, I think it's very like party, it has a bit of a glittery thing on it, and my Crocs. As you see, I have all of the gibbets. I stole my boyfriend's gibbets and I put them on my Crocs and I think they look really cute. <laughs> so I think this is a perfect outfit. Like, I don't know where you guys work, but I can go to the office like this and I think it looks pretty adorable with the Crocs. I think the blazer always dress it up every look. I've also styled it with a blue shirt. It's not the same one that I bought, but with another blue shirt, just on top of just on top of a t-shirt, and the dark, a little crochet back, and and the blazer. And I think this looks great for everyday look. If you want a more relaxed, more relaxed style, just keep the docks. Change the pants. I use the button-up pants, the button-up on the side pants, and just a sweater on top, and a little uh, and a nice little bag. This was my thrift haul. So all together, I end up buying um, twenty-dollar blazer, the six-dollar shirt, the eight-dollar. Um, the jumper was eight and the two books that I think I didn't sell it before was one dollar each. So I end up spending $36. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it and I'm looking forward to making some more and I hope you follow through. So please like this video, click the subscribe button and see you next time.